Hey, hello, good morning, guys, and this is Connie with Gautam. And guys, today I will be teaching you how to make an AI therapist chatbot. So, as you can see, it's very simple. It's hi, what's on your mind today? It opens with hi, what's on your mind today? It is basically an empathetic therapist. We say that I keep getting distracted. I'm not able to achieve my goals I set for the day. And then it's and then as a therapist, it helps you feel better. It says that it sounds like you're feeling frustrated because you getting distracted and not being able to finish the goals you set for yourself each day. It's completely normal to feel this way when things don't go as planned. Have you noticed any specific patterns or triggers that led to these distractions? Is there any particular goal that feels especially challenging to achieve? Let's explore some strategies together to stay focused and work towards your goals effectively. So first, you can see that it understands the situation. Two, it interacts with you by asking you questions. And three, it leads you on to the next section while reassuring you that you are okay. So then it breaks the things to smaller goals. It talks about what techniques and then it asks you a question. It keeps you engaged. Then you can switch up the topics and now I'm feeling really down. And next one is talking about it's important to acknowledge and validate your feelings. It's asking you to talk more and then it's telling you that it's okay to feel this way and you're not alone in experiencing these emotions. Would you like to talk more about what's been causing you to feel this low? So this bot, this bot basically says that it basically reassures you, interacts with you and tries to find out the root of the problems and help solve them. All of this was, all of this was created using FastBots AI. So this is my AI therapist and I will show you how to do everything step, wait, let me just, I'm going to show you how to do everything step by step. So, here's an overview of the bot. So now let's go first to the appearance. So first log into fast, fastbots.ai, it's very simple, and then I'm using the free plan. So first, I call it the AI therapist. The welcome message is what's on your mind today. If this appears on a website, it will pop up. And next then the chatbot av avatar is basically just glasses, which I felt that would be most suitable for the therapist. Then the palette, I just went to coolers.com, coolers.co, and next and I just created a palette. This is the palette I used. And next and I just imported these colors into the into the colors. And we have a very calm and comforting color palette instead of just white and black. Then done. Uh, all of this is just extra. So now we see the appearance. Now let's look at the data. This is the main part of what we are training it on. So here we have three links. First one, it's basically a blog post saying that what therapists say to their clients, like, look, validating the client's feeling. It's understandable you feel this way. Most people will feel the same. It sounds like you've been carrying a lot on your shoulders, validating emotions, helping clients feel, encouraging the client, soothing fears. This website, therapyhelpers.com blog, basically just gives sayings to the bot of what to say to the person who is in therapy. Then this one, it basically therapist lingo, understanding terminology. It's basically giving you therapist terminology. So yeah, so it just says how, what the therapist should say and how, what it means. And this also helps, nothing good comes easy, feelings aren't facts. Just also some other diagnosis that the, ther that the therapist could give. So if the AI determines that you that you need TIC, then it can see, uh, then it can use the definition of TIC, see that if it aligns with what the patient is feeling, and then say the patient needs TIC, and then can take further steps from there. Then we have this one, this thing over here, basically how to be an effective therapist. So basically what you're supposed to do. So listen, listen, transparent, educates their client with symptom stress management, non-judgmental, healthy boundaries, is genuine, it's humble, experiences, conveys empathy. So basically these three links is what the AI is trained on. And then also we have some text here. So this is some other text, which is basically saying that one, you have to understand human emotions. Then two, you have to have communication skills. Three, you have to, you give cognitive behavioral therapy then you have special 
special population. So if it's a child or adolescence or elderly or diverse diverse populations, then self-care for therapists. This is just extra. This is just some AI-generated content from Gemini on what should be fed to a therapist in training. So I just copied all that and I put it in here into the text training box. Then we go to Q&A. We have nothing here, although you could add something to enhance it. So like maybe type your own script of saying, if, if, the, if, the, if the patient says, I'm down, then you could type your own answer saying that the AI could give, which basically makes it easier and more streamlined on your part. But it's more, I, I didn't do that because I believe it's more better if the AI uses its own creativity. That leads us to this. So here, we are using GPT 3.5 Turbo. And then, so basically the AI creativity. So basically, as a therapist, it has to be very creative. So that's why... I, normally, if it's just a if it's just a help chatbot on a website, or if it's just like a sales checker, the creativity is usually at zero point zero one or less. But since it is a creative job to be a therapist and try and understand emotions, creativity needs to be at high. So that's why I put it at ninety percent, so that the chat, so that the AI can use its own processors and cook something up. And second, that the remaining 10% is making sure that it doesn't go too much on its own and still pertains to the text to the text I gave and the websites that it is trained on. So here, just a prompt, you are an AI therapist. Be empathetic towards the patient by helping them overcome their feelings. Ask follow-up questions to make sure the person you are talking to feels talking to feels relieved before leaving. Also make sure to address their problems and help them take the right next step. So that is basically the training of this bot. Then we have the embed and share. Basically, when you open, you can copy this link and actually it takes you to that. So now let's test it out again. So let's say I am feeling really sad today. And next then I'm sorry to hear that you're feeling sad today. It's important to recognize emotions. Have you been, uh, have identified specific triggers? I, I feel very sad when I can't play more video games. Let's see what it says. It's understandable you have that you can't engage in something that brings you joy. It's normal to have activities that help you relax and unwind. Have you noticed any patterns in your gaming habits that might have be impacting your mood when you can't play as much as you'd like? So now it's trying to find the root cause of the sadness. Finding a balance between gaming and other responsibilities can be helpful. What are some other things that bring you happiness or relaxation aside from playing video games? Let's explore some coping strategies together to help manage these feelings of sadness. I also like, I also like playing basketball with my friends. That's great to hear you enjoy going outside. Engaging in physical activities like basketball can be fantastic to lift your spirits. So then it says, have you been, have you considered incorporating more basketball sessions in your routine to help balance out times when you can't play video games? So basically it's trying to divert us from focusing on video games more into basketball. But let's see if we're persistent. I still really want to play video games. It's completely understandable you still want to play video games. They provide a sense of enjoyment. But then it's telling us to set up a gaming schedule or incorporate short gaming sessions throughout the week so that A, we're not addicted. Two, we still get this feeling of happiness. And three, that we can slowly move away from too much screen time. And then I say, okay, I will do that. That sounds like a positive step. And now it basically says that it's good and it's uh, telling us that it's good that we are actually putting our well-being first. So if you ever feel overwhelmed or need further, for further support, don't hesitate to reach out. Don't oh, hesitate to reach out. How do you feel about starting to implement this new plan? And now it's just asking us about our feelings when we start. I feel good. Glad to hear that you're feeling. So if you ever need guidance, feel free to reach out. And then it basically just continues trying to get your feelings. But we have solved what we want. We have now realized that to stop being addicted to video games and being sad, we have to start doing other activities. Like in this case, go outside and play basketball with your friends or go outside and play cricket with your friends. So 
that is why this AI is basically good. It's, it's diverting, it's find the root problem, tries to solve the root problem, and then makes and interacts with the patient while validating their feelings. This is how to make an AI therapist. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Kuning with Gautam, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.